Sometimes shopping for the perfect Mother's Day gift can be stressful, but here at Brush Fire Studio, it is so much fun because you get involved very deeply inside of the gift. Tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, Cassandra Smith, you are the owner. Let's talk about creating that perfect Mother's Day gift. How do you help make it so easy? Sure, well once you've picked out your piece and found something you, mom would, would like, you can uh, sketch your design on it in pencil. Mm -hmm. And we've got stencils and books you're welcome to use. So you can go through those or you can come in with your own idea as well and we'll show you how to transfer onto your piece. Um, Thank you very much yeah. because I've I borrowed uh, a couple of the stencils which uh, you said is encouraged. So I like with mine here I've gone for uh, a bit of a mixture of things because I know that my mom uh, likes me which is why there's such a prominent version of me. She I think she likes my sister so I have to put her in there too. Um, but because I'm not a good artist um, I also borrowed a couple of your stencils to make sure that things look really pretty. Now when we're looking at mine I've got smudge marks and like pencil lines and stuff. Um, you said we don't need to worry about messing up in this stage. Not correct? at all. Exactly. The pencil is going to burn off completely. So it's a good time to plan out your piece, come up with different ideas, and if you don't like it, don't worry about it, only the paint's going to show up. Now what's really, really fun about what you do here is you can get everyone in the family involved in the designs to make that perfect gift for somebody, sure. even if they're a little baby, is that right? Absolutely. Bring kids in, they can do handprints and footprints uh, onto pieces, and then you're creating a functional work of art, and you're capturing their little footprint at that age, and the paint's completely non-toxic, and it just washes off, so it's totally safe to I use. love it. So if we're getting those newborns involved in the art, that's really fun, but then uh, uh, the older kids can uh, work on a project together as well too, right? For sure, yeah. Kids can come in and it's great to capture their artistic level at that age and have them sketch out a little design uh, on the piece in pencil and you can help them paint or they can do the painting themselves as well. So a really good thing. So uh, dads out there, if you're wondering what you're going to get the kids to get mom for Mother's Day, a really fun activity that you can do together. Let's talk about those design tips. Not that I, not sure. that I need them, but you hypothetically. Don't, clearly. If someone wants to come down here, what's some important things to keep in mind so that this turns out as good as it's going to turn out in our mind? Sure. Well, I think you want to keep your design ideas pretty simple. You don't want to get too complicated. Um, the more drawing you do, the more designs you sketch on your piece in pencil, the more painting around. Because as a general tip, we uh, suggest that you don't overlap different paint colors. Okay. So if you're going to do a lot of designs, which you've done on your piece, mm -hmm. Great, just plan on having your background color maybe left unpainted, left white. Okay. And then you'll pick out a lot of great bright colors to now, paint your designs. How much time should I give myself for the process of picking out my piece of art, designing it, and then painting it? I think you want to plan on spending a couple of hours here, and obviously that depends on the age of the person. Little kids are in and out if they're doing a footprint in 15 minutes or a half an hour. Um, but you can certainly plan on spending a couple of hours here. If you don't have that chunk of time to commit to it, you can always start a project, leave it, and come back and work oh, on it. Oh, that's another really, day. really great. Okay, so this could be uh, like a multi step thing if For you sure. need it to be. If you need it to be. Otherwise, certainly you could complete a project in an hour, hour and a half um, if you're doing a, a simple design on it. All right, love it. Uh, some really fun things happening here at Brush Fire Studio. If you want more information about that, just go to our website at breakfasttelevision.ca. So we've got good things happening in the artistic studio. Let's see what's going on inside of the BT studio.